I need you more and more Where would I be without you? Lord, you know I need you more and more Lord, you are my everything Lord, you everything to me Lord, you know I need you more and more Where would I be without you? Lord, you know I need you more and more Lord, you are my end Everything, Lord, you everything to me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Sense of God, celebrate God's faithfulness. Hallelujah. Clap your hands and lift your voice to the Most High, the Eternal One, our sustainer, our keeper, and our provider. Hallelujah. The Bible said, Therefore, with joy shall ye draw waters out of the wells of salvation. Glory to God. Rejoice in the Lord. And again, I say, rejoice, says the word of God. Celebrate God's goodness. Let no devil, let nothing steal your joy. Joy is a major requirement for you to draw waters out of the well of salvation. Without joy, you can't draw waters out of the well of salvation. I challenge you this morning, afternoon, evening, depending on where you are listening to me from or watching me from, celebrate the goodness of God with joy in your spirit. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank God for the gift of life. Thank God for the gift of life. Give God the glory and the honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for this wonderful day, Lord. Thank you for this week, Lord. I celebrate your goodness. I celebrate your goodness and your faithfulness. Hallelujah. Thank God for the precious blood of Jesus uh, that grants us access into the presence of the Lord. Thank God uh, that his blood was shed uh, for our sins uh, to be forgiven and that we might be accepted in the beloved uh, as children of the Most High God. Uh, celebrate the goodness of God. Thank God for the blood of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Uh, we worship you, Lord. Father, we thank you. Jehovah God, we give you glory and honor. We celebrate you, Lord. We celebrate you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. I believe that every form of confusion, frustration, stagnation, is come to an end around your life in the name of Jesus. Uh, lift your hand and say, henceforth, in the name of Jesus, confusion, frustration, stagnation comes to an end around my life by the anointing of favor. By the anointing of favor. Clap your hands and turn it to prayer. Hallelujah. I decree and I declare, henceforth, confusion, frustration, stagnation comes to an end around my life 
by the anointing of favor. Father, I thank you. Glory be to your name. Every form of confusion, every form of frustration, every form of stagnation around my life, around the life of my children comes to an end, comes to an end, comes to an end, comes to an end in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The son of the living God. Lift up your hands. Uh, say, henceforth, people will see me. People will see my children and say, God is good. Do you believe it? Open your mouth and begin to make that declaration and turn it to prayer. In the name of Jesus, uh, henceforth, I decree and I declare, people will see me. People will see my children. All those connected to me, by faith I declare, and they shall say, God is good because the goodness of God shall be visible in our lives. The goodness of God shall be visible in the life of my loved ones. The goodness of God shall be visible in the life of my children. Glory to God. Uh, lift your voice and decree and declare. Henceforth, people will see me. People will see my children and say, God is good. Uh, I thank you, Lord. Uh, I thank you, Lord. Uh, I decree and I declare by faith. Uh, I believe it and I receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Hallelujah. Everyone under the influence of my voice, I declare your results will be visible from this week in the name of Jesus. After the test, usually comes the testimony. I perceive in my spirit uh, that the testimony is here. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Lift your hand one more time and celebrate God for the anointing of favor that is upon your life. Father, I thank you for the anointing of favor. Thank you for the anointing of favor. It is upon me. It is flowing upon me. I believe this month by the grace of God, the anointing of favor is released upon you. As we've been looking at the word of God, I believe you have contacted the anointing of favor. So by faith, celebrate God for the anointing of favor. Thank God for the anointing of favor. Resting upon the works of your hand. Resting upon the hands of your children. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, I give you glory and honor. I thank you, Lord, for the anointing of favor. And remember, the anointing of favor assists you help you get better result than others even in the same field so people doing the same business with you people in the same career as you when the anointing of favor is at work in your life it assists you to get better result than they i believe god that it has happened for you and you begin to see the result shout that amen and receive it in jesus mighty name Starting this day, friends, please, I want you to hear me well. God, Jehovah, the internal one, trade in resources more powerful than money. When you hear about God, the first thing that should come to your mind should not be money. God does not trade on money. But what God trades on can provoke money and release money to come to you as you go about your business, your career. So please hear me well. God, the internal one, trade in resources more powerful than money. What are those resources? Favor, grace, mercy. These virtues can give you what money can't give you. Sense, take advantage of God's favor. That is why as a child of God, money should not be our focus and priority. Look at the favor of God. Look at the grace of God. Look at the mercy of God. You stand at advantage to those who are doing the same thing as you in your field of business or career. 
because when you have the favor of God, you have the grace of God, you have the mercy of God, married to the works of your hand, to your career, to the ministry God has appointed and called you into, you get more results to the glory of God. Money can give you sense. What favor, what grace, what mercy can give you? Money can forgive your sins. Mercy did that for you. Money can keep you up. The grace of God by mercy will take you up. And through humility keep you there. Hallelujah. Money can open certain strange doors for you. Even though yes, in this world we live in. With money there can be certain level of connection. But there are connections and level of breakthrough that only God's assistance through favor can make happen for you. That is why, friends, it's important to know how to walk and to enjoy the anointing of favor. It's important. It's necessary. You might not have physical money today, but if you have the favor of God, you have the grace of God, you have the mercy of God, and you are walking, you are doing business, you have something that you are doing, it's a matter of time. I guarantee you, God will not fail you. Breakthrough is coming. Breakthrough is coming. Breakthrough is coming. Because the Bible says, whatsoever he doeth, whatsoever she doeth, he or she shall prosper. When the anointing of favor, grace and mercy is upon you, glory to God. In his own time, he makes all things beautiful. Just begin to celebrate the faithfulness of God. Because I see that time is here. The set time to favor Zion. Put your name there. The set time to favor me has come, 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 has come. This week, you will encounter that favor of God. Glory to God. And please, when the anointing of favor, grace or mercy is upon you, don't sit down. Don't lock yourself. You need to go out. You need to be seen. Because when they see you, they must favor you. I therefore decree and declare, as we are almost rounding up the month of March, anywhere you enter, as men see you, they shall favor you. As women see you, they shall favor you. What is it that you require to move from the level you are to the level you desire to be? As they see you, they will give it to you. By the anointing of favor. Glory to God. Go look at this. Acts chapter 3 and verse 6. Acts chapter 3 and verse 6. Then Peter said... Then Peter said, Sliver or gold I do not have. Money I don't have. Sliver I don't have. Gold I don't have. But what I have, I give you in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Walk. In other words, what I have is greater than sliver or gold. Friends, there are things money can do that only favor, grace, and mercy can make it happen. Peter was saying, yeah, sliver and gold we don't have, but we have something greater than money. It's called grace. It's called favor. It's called mercy. And that man crippled on his feet in the name of Jesus, raised up and began to walk. So, the name of Jesus Christ, is greater than money, friends. Grace, favor, mercy, married to the works of your hands, we produce money that will give you peace, the only peace that the internal one alone can give. Glory to God. Romans chapter 9 and verse 16. See the word of God. It does not therefore depend on human desire or effort, but on God's mercy. It's not of him that will it. It's not of him that run it. It is of God that showeth mercy. It does not therefore depend on human desire. It's not enough for you to desire the blessing. It's not enough for you to desire the breakthrough. It's not enough for your effort, hard work. 
but on God's mercy. That is why it's not every hard-working person that is succeeding or that is successful. That is why it's not every hard-working person who desire to be honored that is honored. There is something greater than hard work, greater than effort, is the favor, the mercy, the grace of God. In Christ Jesus, you were favored before you were born. All you need to do is to know how to walk in the favor of God. And we've been looking at that since last Sunday. I did share with us two of those keys and I said, today I'm going to finish the keys and then we're going to look at the benefits, the blessings of the favor of God. Please listen to me carefully. It's very important that as we celebrate the favor of God, just don't celebrate it, know how to walk in it. Because friends, the anointing of favor is real. I have experienced it in my life. The anointing of favor is real. That you will see grace do for you things that you do not deserve or end or merit. You can count on God's favor. Just as we have been seeing from the word of God from the first Sunday of this month. Without much effort, by the anointing of favor, you can generate much results. Remember, the anointing of favor is a divine enabler that assists you get things you don't naturally deserve or properly qualify for. Get ready for this great miracle. I see God upgrading you by the anointing of favor. If you perceive you are that person, receive it. Receive it. I don't know where you are listening to me from around the world, but I hear the Lord say to me, the anointing to upgrade you is coming upon you. Arise and shine, for your light has come, and the glory of God is risen upon you. The anointing to upgrade you is coming on you. I see God upgrading you. I see God upgrading your Company. I see God upgrading your business. I see God upgrading your career. I see God upgrading your children. I hear the Lord say to me, it's time to arise and shine. Wake up. This week is the week of knocking doors. The week of knocking doors. And as you knock those doors, they shall be open to you. Some of the way you knock may be through email, may be through phone call, may be through making contact. But this week, the anointing of favor shall speak for you speedily in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So how do we assess the anointing of favor? We have looked at one, surrender yourself to God. The sovereign God. He said, I choose who I want to show mercy, mercy. And I choose who I don't want to show mercy, no mercy. So you need to acquaint yourself to the sovereign God. There are certain things God will do in your life just because he is God. No man can question him. So imagine when you are now with God. No one and nothing shall be or can be against you. Number two, praying for others especially those that are faced with misfortune. When you are going through your needs, there are many of you under the sound of my voice right now, forget about your needs. Forget about your challenges. I promise you, it's a test. We saw that from the book of Job 42 verse 10. When he prayed for his friend, then, then, only then, God turned around his captivity and gave him twice as much as he had before. God can give and he will give you. He is the same yesterday, today and forever. If possible, even set a time and fast and pray. And pray for others. Others that are sick in the hospital. Others that are going through financial situation. Pray for men of God. Pray for missionary. Pray for, pray, pray for saints of God that are looking up to God. And watch. It's a secret to flow and walk in the anointing of favor. This is one message I would like you to carry through this year. And carry through the rest of your life if Jesus started. Because it's relevant not just for the now. For your life here on earth to be pleasant. Because we saw from the scriptures that Jesus walked in the anointing of favor to enjoy success in his earthly ministry while on earth. So it's a must. If you must enjoy success here on earth, the anointing of favor is a must. 
Number one, surrender yourself to God. Acquaint yourself to God. Number two, praying for others. Number three, be committed to serving God and advancing his work. Why do you want the anointing of favor? Friends, God will not put his favor on you just for yourself. Check through the scriptures as we have seen. Everyone God anoints and enjoy the grace of favor. They were up to something for the kingdom of God. Amen. Be committed to serving God and advancing his kingdom. What is that assignment God is mandate you to do? Or God is put a burden on you to carry out? That's the reason why God will favor you. And then that favor can be a blessing to you and to your family as well. Number four, divine helpers. One of the ways we assess the anointing of favor and enjoy the anointing of favor is through divine helpers. And we, said, we saw from the word of God that divine helpers can come in different form. There are spiritual divine helpers. There are financial divine helpers. There are helpers who are just there to advise you. Locate those helpers by the mercies of God is one way to enjoy the anointing of favor. So that is one, two, three, and four. Today, by the grace of God, we are looking at step five and step six. And then the blessing of the anointing of favor. Step five is knowledge. Glory to Jesus. Step five is knowledge. Hallelujah. Second Peter chapter one and verse two. Second Peter chapter one and verse two. May God, may God give you more and more grace and peace as you grow. Please underline this verse in your Bible. As you grow in your knowledge of God, and Jesus our Lord. You need to continuously grow in the knowledge of the word of God for favor to keep multiplying in you. So favor multiplies by knowledge. Friends, that is why it's important to know. Remember, the Bible says, my people, my people, my children, they are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Ignorance will hinder you from enjoying and flowing in the anointing of favor. Knowledge is a must. Go for the word of God. That is why after hearing the word like this, meditate on it. For it to become part of your system, your spirit. When you open your mouth to speak, you are speaking the word of God. Not doubt, not unbelief, not fear. Hear the word of God over and over. Play it over and over, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Let it become part of you. The more the word is registered in your spirit, you multiply the favor of God around your life. So knowledge is number five. It's a must. Glory to God. And number six, show others favor. Show others favor. Whatever you desire, do unto others. Learn to sow the seed of favor and you shall reap the harvest of favor. A wise man said, what you make happen for others, God will make happen for you. That's very, very true. Glory to God. What you make happen for others, God will make happen for you. The question is, what are you making happen for others? Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 27. Proverbs 11 verse 27. If you search for good, in other words, go just like someone go to search for a job. Search to do good. Look for opportunities to do good. Look for people to make happy and smile. I've said this often as one calling to the power ministry. God revealed to me. That one of the weapons to enjoy victory over satanic opposition is to give to the poor. So to those that are oppressed. Hallelujah. The orphans, the widows. Look at it again. Proverbs eleven twenty seven. If you search for good, you will find favor. Look for opportunities to do good. And when you see the opportunity, do the good. Look for orphans to assist. Look for hospital bill to pay for women in the hospital who can't afford, or men in the hospital, or children in the hospital who can't afford to pay their hospital bill. Look for a child who can't 
afford to pay his or her school fees, probably who have lost his or her parents. Look for opportunities to do good. If you search for good, Proverbs 11, 27, memorize this verse of the Bible. If you search for good, you will find favor. But if you search for evil, it will find you. In other words, whatsoever a man soweth, that he shall reap. So whatever you desire to happen to you, first do unto others. Glory to Jesus and you will see the favor of God at work in your life. So whatever you seek for yourself, you will find it if you seek it for good. If you seek it for evil, whatever you seek for yourself, do it for others. What you don't want to find, don't seek and don't plant. If you go around sowing the seed of discord among people, destroying relationship, causing people to fight each other, it's a seed you are sowing. You will find the harvest. If you go around as a peacemaker, causing people to live in peace, reconciling friends together, you will enjoy the blessings of peace. What are you sowing? So number six is to show favor. Sow the seed of favor. Glory to God. Psalms chapter 41, verse 1 to 3. I love these verses. Hallelujah. Psalm 41, verse 1 to 3. Verse 1. Blessed is he who considered the poor. When last did you consider the poor? When last did you consider the poor? I do it almost every day of my life as I go around, but majorly once every month as God enabled me. And I'm glad that is what God has called me to do. While preaching the gospel, while winning souls, I consider the poor. And the places I love to go preach, and do this assignment God has called me to do is the rural areas where the poor dwells. Please, blessed is he, Psalm 41 verse 1, who considers the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. So while you are busy considering the poor, you are securing your tomorrow. Because when trouble comes, this is one of the reasons why you shall be delivered because you are useful. No, verse 2, Psalm 41, verse 2. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. He will be blessed on the earth. Why? All this blessing. Why do you want to be preserved? I shall not die but live. To do what? If you are given to preserving lives and you consider the poor, is one of the reasons why the anointing of favor will rest upon you and will preserve you. Look at verse 2. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. He will be blessed on the earth. Look at verse 3. Psalm 41 verse 3. The Lord will strengthen him on his bed of illness. You will sustain him on his sick bed. If paraventure you fall sick or you took ill and you're on the hospital bed because of your love to the poor, you consider the needy. You go out to reach out to those who are in pain. He said, God will consider you and strengthen you up and he will pick you up from that sick bed. I have been saying, if you are useful to God, you cannot be wasted by the devil. This is the word of God, friends. Blessed is he that consider the poor. So sowing seeds of favor provokes the harvest of favor. I hear the Lord say to me, Forgotten documents will be brought back for focus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You have been crying to God. I don't know what documents are these, but as many under the influence of this word of knowledge, every forgotten document will be brought back for focus. So get ready. For good, your document will be brought back for focus. For good. So receive that favor you are trusting God for. Receive it in the name of Jesus. When you stand, I don't know what sickness is this. I see your both feet are trembling, shaking. You can't really stand from your knees downward. My God, and you are still very young. Every arrow, every affliction, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing now. Please stand if you are hearing me. 
and stamp your feet on the floor and decree life and receive it in Jesus mighty name so shall it be you are healed and whole made whole in Jesus precious name glory to God friends so these are the six steps to take to flow to enjoy the anointing of favor Psalm 44 and verse 3 look at some of the blessings of favor glory to God and we begin to make declarations for this great week Psalm 44 and verse 3 they did not conquer the land with their sword it was not their own strong arm that gave them the victory why do you think it's by your effort that you have been blessed all this while for some of you that's the reason why the blessing have slowed down because you thought it was your hard work it's good to be hard working but like i said favor assists us to get things naturally that we were not qualified to get they did not conquer the land with their sword it was not their own strong arm that gave them victory it was your strength your your right hand and strong arm and the blinding light from your face that helped them for you loved them for you favored them for you blessed them glory to god friends there are possession god will give you only by the anointing of favor there are blessings that only favor can release on you hallelujah especially when you find yourself accomplishing things you did not study for or things that you really did not pursue in life but the things are pursuing you and coming to you it is the grace of god that is at work in your life the anointing of favor open doors though you have to walk through the door but it is the anointing of favor that will open the door you do more with less by the anointing of favor god is saying to them here the land that he gave to them they did not conquer it or possess it by their own strength it was the strong arm of god that gave it to them you think it is by your strength you got that house alone you think it's by your strength you got that car yes you worked hard and you are still working hard you think it's by your strength you got married and have those wonderful children there are many working harder than you are and they are not in your possess in your position it is the grace of god the favor of god they did not conquer the land with their sword it was not their own strong hand that gave them the victory it was your right hand and strong arm and the blinding light from your face that helped them that favored them that assisted them for you loved them for you favored them glory to god i see you walking through this last week of the month the hand of God giving you twice as much as you had before. I see it coming to pass for you. It's not going to be by power. It's not going to be by might. But by the favor of God. But by the favor of God. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Hallelujah. The anointing of favor increases you. By the anointing of favor, what can stop God cannot stop you. The enemies of God's children couldn't stop them. We saw that now, Psalm 44, verse 3. They overcame, they conquered, they possessed the land. Not by their swords, not by their power, but by the strong arm of God and the blinding light of his face because he helped them, he loved them, he favored them. So what cannot stop God, cannot stop you when you are walking in the anointing of please be intentional about these things I'm saying. Walk consciously in it. Wake up every morning and have this understanding that as I am going out today, I am operating in the anointing of favor. As I am going for that appointment, as I am going for that job, as I am going for that business, I am walking in the anointing of favor. As I appear in the office, I appear in the anointing of favor. Ministers of God, as I am ministering before the people, as I am standing to declare the counsel of the Lord, I am under the anointing of favor. Glory to God. 
where they say it can't be done. For you it shall 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 be done. Protocols will be bypassed for your sake. You have a sharp pain behind your neck where your spinal cord starts from. Receive the healing power of God. You can bend your head. It's painful. In the name of Jesus, be healed and be made whole. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Psalms chapter 30 and verse 11. Psalms 30 verse 11. Glory to God. Look at the word of God. You have turned my mourning into joy and dancing. You have taken away my clothes of mourning and clothed me with joy. The anointing of favor turns your mourning into joy. So congratulations. Every weeping has come to an end. The only weeping permitted from this day is a weeping for joy. The anointing of favor takes away your mourning, takes away your pain, and gives you joy. Glory to God. Joy in the midst of challenges. Remember, like I've said often, that we are Christians, believers, born-again Christians, does not excuse us from the challenges of life. We are human. We are on earth. We will face challenges as well as normal human beings. But the difference is, as you go through your challenges, you go through them with joy, with praise. In all things, give thanks unto the Lord. Not for them, but in them. Don't let any challenge steal your joy. That is why we are Christians. We are not just serving God for what we get. We are serving God because we are Him in Christ Jesus. Glory to Jesus. I like to say this in closing. Please, saints of God, take note. The God we serve is not just the promise keeper. The God we serve is not just the God who keeps promise. Our God is a covenant keeping God. You must know that a covenant is bigger, stronger than a promise. God has made a covenant with us that he will stand by his word. And he is faithful to his word. Psalm 89 verse 34. Look at the word of God. Glory to God. No, I will not break my covenant. The anointing of favor is real. The promises of the word of God that you see from the scriptures, you take them, you do what those promises requires you to do. The moment you do your part, it ceases to be a promise. It becomes a covenant. And once it's a covenant, God's part is forever faithful set to. You keep your part. So we hear God saying here in Psalm 89 verse 34, No, I will not break my covenant. I will not take back a single word. I said, this is your God speaking, friends. And this is the promise of God for you. So hold on to the word of God and believe God to walk in the anointing of favor. God will favor you for a reason. Find that reason and enjoy the flow of the anointing of favor. God will favor you for a reason. I say again, find that reason, friends. I found my reason. I found my reasons. Not one, not two. I know it and I am doing it faithfully. As God enables me and strengthens me. And I believe God to do much more, bigger than what I am doing. As he keeps increasing me for his glory and honor. And that is how I want to live my life for the rest of my life. In doing those things, I am winning souls to the kingdom of God. Building churches and schools and orphanage. And winning souls in conferences and crusades in rural areas. And planting churches in those villages for the glory and the honor of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Ask God for the anointing of favor to build schools. That is how you flow in it. Ask God for the anointing of favor to build churches. Ask God for the anointing of favor to win souls. God wouldn't put the anointing of favor on you just for yourself. Ask God for the anointing of favor 
to feed communities to feed communities glory to god i do this as god give me strength the ones i'm permitted to post i post the ones i'm not permitted to post online i don't post online is my dealings with god is my personal relationship with god but every month every week i do this for god and souls are won glory to god to the kingdom of god and churches are planted to the honor and the praise of his holy name i want to challenge you from this day's fault please enter into an agreement with god to feed communities cooperate with god to give to the homeless cooperate with god to pay hospital bills for those who can't and help the needy cooperate with god and watch and see how the anointing of favor will flow through you and great works will be manifested through your hands for his honor and praise open your hands say from this day forward i attract honor and promotion in the name of jesus by the anointing of favor turn it to prayer my father my god i decree and i declare by the anointing of favor from this day forth i attract honor i attract promotion i attract honor i attract promotion in the name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus christ i decree and i declare on you 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 listening to me this week someone will remember you and for good in the name of jesus this week someone will remember your children and for good in the mighty name of jesus christ the son of the living god glory to god open your hand say in the name of jesus in the place of power and authority someone will mention my name for good Turn it to prayer and see it happening in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my Lord, and my God, I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus, in the place of power and authority, someone will mention my name for good. Someone will mention my name for good. Someone will mention my name for good. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. I decree and I declare over everyone under the influence of my voice in the next six days you will be called for favor. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In the next six days you will be called for favor. The anointing of favor is coming on you now receive it in jesus name let it flow through your business let it flow through your career let it flow through your your academics let it flow in your family in the mighty name of jesus christ someone your appointment later has been released please call the number on the screen let us hear your testimony your appointment later is released in the name of jesus I hear the Lord say to me, expect that mail, expect that SMS, this week for good, this week for good, this week for good, expect it, this week, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Next Sunday is the last Sunday of the month of March, our month of favor. We're going to just be praying. We're going to be praying against things that stand against the favor of God in our lives, and we're going to be celebrating God's favor one small that same weekend is the easter weekend i like to challenge everyone under the sound of my voice the best way to celebrate the dead and the resurrection of jesus is by winning a soul that is why jesus came to die please no religious ceremonies i don't believe in religious ceremonies you want to celebrate the dead and the resurrection of jesus win a soul whichever way you want to do it through conferences through retreats seminars through feeding the poor through going out to reach out to the rich whichever way but the ultimate purpose should be to bring souls to the kingdom of god remember the only way we can increase the family of god here on earth is by soul winning i commend you by grace as you go about it the Lord bless you, the Lord keep you. 
celebrate Easter with that intention, soul winning. Glory be to God. If you haven't given your life to the Lord Jesus, I'd like you to do so now. No Christ, no anointing of favor. That is where it starts from, by surrendering yourself to God. Say after me, Lord Jesus, come into my life as my Lord and my Savior. I surrender my life to you. Thank you, Father, for forgiving me my sins. In Jesus' name. You've prayed that short prayer. Congratulations. You are safe and washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Welcome to the family of God. Glory to God. If you have any sickness in any part of your body, lay your hands there. By the eternal name of Jesus Christ, receive your healing. He came, died, resurrected, so that we can be saved from sin, be healed from sickness, hallelujah, and be blessed through his grace. Be healed from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Now, in Jesus' mighty name, God bless you, God keep you. Don't forget, join me in preaching the gospel by sharing the word of God. God bless you.